Versus Market has once again been hacked. This is the third time that I'm aware of that this particular darknet marketplace has been compromised by hackers. And that's not even counting the number of times that it's been DDoSed. I don't have enough fingers and toes to count how many times that has happened. But this last vulnerability that's been discovered on Versus, it might be the worst one yet. It's apparently very easy for someone to pull off. It doesn't require any advanced hacking skills, but it does allow for full access to the underlying file system that is on the server, including information within the Etsy directory, which is a folder on Linux systems that usually contains all of your system configuration files. This exploit lets you access the crypto wallet directories and could potentially allow someone to steal the wallet seed, which means all funds that are in that wallet can be taken. And mind you, these aren't just the funds that belong to the admins of the site themselves. This would also include funds from customers and vendors that are within escrow if they decided to use the escrow service. And if you know anything about this market, then you know that the vendors are not the kind of people that you want to be owing money to, okay? Bad things happen when you owe money to these guys. And of course, if you're able to get into the actual server that is hosting this marketplace, you can find the actual IP address of that server, which means that you don't have to go through all of the work of DDoSing someone through Tor and having it be less effective. You can just hit them directly and you can figure out what hosting provider the person is using and the physical location of that server, at least down to the city. But if you're law enforcement, then you're going to know exactly where it is because you're going to be able to subpoena the hosting provider. And they're going to then do their best from the information they get from that hosting provider to trace it back to the people, the actual admins running this site, that created the account with that hosting provider. So hopefully the admins used a host that accepts Monero and allows you to sign up to the hosting provider anonymously, and they only ever access the box via SSH over Tor. But if they gave away any personal details when signing up or they SSH from an IP that belongs to them, then they're screwed. Or if this is running at somebody's house, which is a possibility. I actually did a video several months ago about Onion Share, which lets you easily spin up an Onion site on a computer that's running at your home. But if that's the case with Versus, then law enforcement will very quickly notice that the IP address belongs to a consumer ISP. They'll subpoena them, figure out who had that particular IP address at that time, and then go kick in their door. But more than likely, what law enforcement is going to do, and as we've seen them do with marketplaces that have been compromised in the past, they are going to take over the market and try and identify as many customers and as many vendors as possible. Because in case you aren't privy to the hidden marketplace scene, Typically, the way that they're laid out is you have these vendors that provide different products and services. They will have a PGP code that lets you identify them because, of course, anybody can just copy their username and impersonate them, uh, taking advantage of the reputation that they built over time. And they'll have this info on multiple Onion marketplaces that allow that particular vendor's products and services. And of course, you'll find many of these same vendors on different dark nets as well, like I2P. So this probably goes without saying, but using this marketplace is not a good idea. Well, I don't promote doing anything that is illegal in your country or region in the first place or against the terms of service of whatever platform this video will be posted on. You hear that, YouTube? I am not promoting or glorifying the use of rugs. Do not go telling me that this video does when there's thousands of videos on your platform that actually do, yet you do nothing to remove those. Now, what's probably the most embarrassing about Versus Market getting hacked is the fact that it has always called itself a security-focused darknet marketplace. Yeah, I don't think you can go around saying that when you had a vulnerability this bad. And I wasn't able to confirm this vulnerability exists myself, like I couldn't go and test it out since Versus has been down basically all day today. 
But apparently it's something that's very easy to exploit that even automatic scanners would normally pick up. So you, if, if you're a script kitty that can just boot up Kali Linux, you probably have a tool to enumerate web pages and automatically do this vulnerability for you. So it's not even hard. There's probably been, everyone and their mother has probably already done this exploit on Versus already. And now a good citizen has come forward and said, hey man, uh, you've got this thing going on on your site and it's pretty damn bad. And I've seen some post on Dread kind of wondering whether or not this is actually real, like whether this is just propaganda being created from another competing marketplace to try to get people to leave versus and go to them. Um, but I, I think it's real. I've seen several different people say that they have confirmed that this vulnerability does exist. Uh, it's even stickied on versus sub Dread right now. So yeah, this, this definitely looks pretty real to me. Now, although the exact vulnerability that lets you get all this information from Versus has not been disclosed, or at least I haven't been able to find a full disclosure of it online, there are a lot of other amateur OPSEC mistakes that 360, the person who initially disclosed this, claims Versus has. So apparently, users are able to access the admin directory of the site and at least one SQL database from within a subfolder in that admin directory, which is not what you want. Even on a regular clear website, like even if it's just a blog, you don't want people to be able to access your admin page, okay? If they try to go to yourwebsite.com forward slash admin, they should receive a 403 forbidden response, or you could put a fake admin page in its place. I know with Django, there's this library called Django Admin Honeypot, which does just this. It puts up a fake admin page so that if hackers visit it, they can't actually get into anything. They might just waste their time trying to log into a fake page and you'll also get information from them while they're doing that, like their IP address, their user agents, and what credentials they're trying to log in with. And then you can use that to try and further filter them from getting to the important parts of your website. And then meanwhile, your real admin page will be, well, probably a random string of characters would be your best bet. I mean, obviously you gotta write that down somewhere so that you know how to access the admin page yourself. Uh, but that would probably make it harder for different enumerating tools to find that particular directory of your web page. But yeah, this admin page being public, that's common knowledge. That's something that you would probably learn from any beginner e-commerce or how to set up a website tutorial. And apparently the admins of Versus also kept detailed server authentication logs, which you would want on a clear website, but not really on a dark website. And 360 is claiming that from these logs, he was able to discern a lot of information about the admins operational security, if you can even call it that at this point, such as the VPNs that the Versus admins use. And apparently there was at least one IP address that appeared to belong to a residential place. So it sounds like at least one of the Versus admins has accessed this box directly from their house or they hacked the neighbor's Wi-Fi and used that. And the web apps that make up Versus, they were also apparently not running in an isolated container. So assuming that all of this, which 360 has posted is true, Versus Marketplace's security is just as bad, if not worse, than a lot of clear websites that people have set up and not really done a lot of work on securing them. So add Versus to the pile of dead marketplaces and unless these admins are the luckiest people in the world, I bet that the Alphabet Boys have already used this exploit to compromise and monitor the marketplace for quite some time now. Let me know in the comments below if you think versus admins are going to be arrested soon as a result of their bad OPSEC. Like and share this video to hack the algorithm. Follow me on Odyssey and have a great day.